Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is Blooming with Idaho. Today, I'm going to talk about a uh, yeah. So I figured I would do an honest review from somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing. Um, of the LED Sunlight 3 tier Garden Grow Light System from Gardener Supply. So here we go. Okay, so this grow system arrived within just a few days after I ordered it, so super quick shipping, and it came in three different unassembled boxes, and the instructions were fairly clear cut. I was able to put this together with my five-year-old in just a couple of hours. There were a few times I was reading and rereading just to make sure I was doing it correctly, but overall it was pretty easy. So the frame itself is actually made of a powder co coated aluminum that is supposedly rust free. I did find that it scraped really easy and took the black paint off on my cement floor, but that's just my bad. So here it is all put together. It has three different tiers and each light fixture holds three full spectrum LED bulbs. So the set itself has a total of nine bulbs that it comes with. Gardener Supply claims that by having three bulbs as opposed to two in their other growth systems that it literally increases your light availability by 50%. Explain that math to me. I don't know. That is kid noises in the background, so ignore that. So each LED bulb is supposed to have 50,000 hours of use and there is no mercury in it. So when you do need to replace it, it's supposed to be easy to dispose of. You don't have to do it in any special way. The light bulbs also have full spectrum color with a special emphasis on blue light, which is supposed to help with root growth and uh, photosynthesis. Something that I particularly like about these is that they literally use 50% less energy than uh, traditional fluorescent light bulbs do, and they don't get warm at all. They don't put off any heat. So each light has the ability to be raised or lowered depending on where your seeds are. I'm doing this with one hand and holding my phone in the other, so it's a little difficult, but you can see it's easy enough to do it one-handed. I usually keep mine lowered down so that it's directly ab above my little seedlings and as they grow, I'll just raise it up to accommodate their new height. So as you can see, I have an array of different things growing under here. I have herbs, I have perennials, I have bulbs, succulents, uh, vegetables that I've started, some spinach, things that I plan to put in our garden here. I put the hostas down there just for the heck of it and Actually, everything is doing really dang good, and I am a total newbie gardener, so the fact that they're doing so well is kind of a testament of how much my plants love this light system. So, for the sake of just showing some sort of criticism, because anything can be improved upon, I would have to pick the cost overall as my least favorite thing about this. It was an $1,100 grow system, which is quite expensive. Most of that cost is in the bulbs, of course, which would be that way, even if you were to assemble your own grow system. The second complaint I have is that with all the wiring, I was hoping it would be... Oh my gosh, that stupid toy... Sorry. Anyways, with all of the wiring, I was hoping it would be one continual electrical loop from one tier to the next, except that it's not. Each tier has its own electrical system that has to be plugged into an outlet. So you're left with three different plugins. It's not that big of a deal, except that I have a timer that only accommodates two outlets. So I had to buy a second timer so that I can plug in that bottom tier when I'm ready to use it. All in all, it's been a great purchase and I'm so grateful to have this little slice of heaven in my basement when I have a foot of snow outside. Hope you enjoyed this.